American astronaut Frank Rubio broke the record for the longest orbital mission by an American, spending time aboard the International Space Station. In some ways it was an incredible challenge, but in other ways it was an incredible blessing. Rubio said during a live broadcast conversation with NASA from the ISS on Wednesday. Having surpassed the old record on Monday, Rubio expressed anticipation for reaching 365 days. I think this will be a really good milestone for our country, said Rubio, who was medical background and is a helicopter pilot. The previous yes record was set in 2021 by Mark Vettel Hay, who spent 355 days in space. The world record belongs to Russian cosmonaut Valery Polyakov with 437 days. Rubio was scheduled to return to Earth on the 27th of September, having spent 375 days in space by the time. When Rubio launched to the ISS last year in Russian Soyuz rockets with two cosmonauts, the plan was for him to stay there for for six months, which is a typical mission duration. As per a standard procedure, this rocket was to remain docked to the ISS as an emergency escape vehicle that was supposed to bring these three travelers back home in December. However, there was a leak likely caused by tiny meteorite impact. As a result, the Russian space agency Roscosmos sent this rocket back and launched another one without a crew on board. Rubio and his two colleagues carried out the cruise mission, which was originally meant to go to the ISS on the second rocket rocket and replace them. Rubio and Latino witness crews come and go in space totaling 28 individuals of different nationalities. If I'm counting correctly, that's almost 5% of all the people who have ever been in space, which is quite incredible, Rubio said on Wednesday. Rubio, who is completing a year-long mission aboard the Orbital Laboratory, today surpassed NASA astronaut Mark Vente's American record of 355 days in space as the longest single space flight by an American. When he lands on Earth at the end of the month, Rubio will have spent 371 days in space. A list of other astronaut records at NASA station is available online. For over 22 years, astronauts have continuously lived and worked abroad the space station, testing technologies, conducting scenes, and developing skills necessary for future exploration beyond Earth. Being up here for a short period, you really focus on the work, and sometimes you forget to appreciate the fact that you're floating around and you have this incredible view below you, Rubio said. He described the living quarters as somewhat cramped, comparing them to a five-bedroom house. So psychologically, it's been a bit of a challenge over the year, Rubio added. The US record for the most cumulative days in space belongs to former astronaut Peggy Watson with 675 days across multiple missions. Be sure to subscribe to this channel like this video to stay updated on the most interesting and popular news among the first, as your subscription is essential for further viewing of our videos on this channel.